Okay, hi guys. So here we have a question. Uh, it looks like there are a number of two groups of teens and adults uh, that we surveyed, and we asked them their preferred lunch drink, right? And notice that the last column is total, so it's not an actual different category of drink. Um, so the first question asks us, to assess what kind of test we want to be conducting here. Um, and the question that they're interested in is if the drink preference differs for teenagers and adults. So uh, we know that, uh, so, so since we're looking at two different groups and assessing whether they're the same, right, differ or the same, uh, this, the test we're interested in would be a test of homogeneity. Okay, and the second question asks, if the distribution is the same for the two populations, how many teens would you expect to prefer coffee? So, Let's just go over and refer to our formulas here. So basically they're asking us for, in, in the test of homogeneity, the expected count. So, let's just fill in our uh, our different quantities here, row total times column total over total n, right? So our row total for coffee uh, where we're assuming it's the same for the two populations, right? So it's just a row total here, 245. And our column total since we're interested in the number of teens that prefer coffee would just be 400. So times 400 And we divide by the total n, which is 1,000, to get a final answer of 98. The next question asks, what is the expected value of the test statistic, again, where we're assuming that the drink preference is the same for the two populations. So we notice that the test statistic value is just the number of degrees of freedom. Sorry, that's for goodness of fit. We're looking for this degrees of freedom. Where again, R is your row and C is your columns. So number of, ro number of rows and number of columns, minus one. So the number of rows is just four, minus one. Number of columns is just two, minus one. For a total answer of three. Now we want to just figure out how to write the how to draw out the the sketch for the p values. Right? So we want the p value and so first we want to go ahead and 
label the axes. So we know that we're doing a chi-square test. So on the x-axis is a chi-square. Start from zero. And we just draw like a nor normally looking chi-square distribution. Um, we have to label what kind of a chi-square distribution, of course. And we said that our test value was three. So the degrees of freedom are just going to be three. And our test statistic was 16.78. And we want the p-value for the right side. So this is your p-value. And finally, at the 5% significance level, uh, we want to evaluate whether or not our p-value of 0 0.0008 Um, if we should reject our null hypothesis that the preferences are the same. And at this, at the 5% significance level, it does appear we should reject since our p-value is less than 0 0.05.